from organizing the knee depth experiences summit um, and also doing the podcast as well and interviewing other people that's gone through similar journeys. What have you learned from collating many people's journey together? You know what I learned from the very first summit I did is that when I heard another near death experiencer's experience, I would sometimes go into meditation afterwards and connect with the energy of the experience. And so I tell people, even if they've heard my story before, or they've heard one, like to later just meditate on what that feels like to be in the presence of that much love, you know, that it's a beautiful place to go. And many meditations do focus on that unconditional love. But the more you go there, I think the more you condition your soul to understand that there's nothing to fear, that it's really just that beautiful. So sometimes other experiencers have slightly different experiences and I've been able to tap into those in meditation and see kind of like on an experiential level what they experienced and that's been beautiful. And I've also found that, you know, we're working a lot of times alone in different places. And so we do need each other's support and there are you know, that need for a tribe is important because we need to be understood. And I think when I connect with someone who just had a near-death experience a couple of years ago, I think I have advice to offer sometimes about how to protect yourself, how to integrate more quickly. And so these forums, these conferences, you know, and even my community, it's just helpful. You know, it, it just helps other people on their journey.